Hey, today I'm gonna show you how to make these sourdough bagels. They are hot still out of the oven and they are very easy to make. So, here we go. Add 250 grams of water to your stand mixer. 50 grams of malt syrup. You can also use molasses or honey. Add 200 grams of mature sourdough starter, or you can use sourdough discard if you have some left over to use. Add 50 grams of sugar, 11 grams of salt, and 75 grams of vital wheat gluten. Add 425 grams of bread flour. Mix with the hook attachment of your mixer until your dough comes together for about two to three minutes. Take the dough out of the bowl and start kneading by hand until your dough feels soft and a little bit elastic. Form a bowl, cover with plastic wrap and let rest for 15 minutes to let the gluten relax. After 15 minutes, divide your dough into 8 pieces. I like to use my scale to get even pieces of dough. You should get 8 pieces of dough of about 130 grams each. This dough is very dry and makes dense and chewy bagels, but they are very soft at the same time. To shape the dough into balls, take a piece of dough and start working it in your hands to make a ball. Make 8 balls, covered with plastic wrap and let rest on the counter for about 20 minutes. Before shaping your bagels, sprinkle semolina flour on a baking tray. I'm gonna show you two ways to shape your bagels. First, roll the dough into a cylinder of about 8 to 10 inches long without tampering the ends. Grab the cylinder around your hand with the ends overlapping about two inches. Then roll the dough on the counter to smash the ends together. You can also form the bagels by punching a hole in the middle of the dough and expanding it. The bagels won't look quite as nice when they are done, but it is a much easier technique. Place the bagels on the prepared cooking sheet covered with plastic wrap and let rest on the counter for about 4 hours. After 4 hours, take them to the fridge and let them sit in the fridge overnight. The next morning, get your bagels out of the fridge. Prepare a pot with boiling water, add 1 tablespoon of baking soda. Place 3 or 4 bagels in the boiling water at a time.
and cook 20 seconds per side. Transfer the bagels to a cooking sheet with our cooling rack. And place the remaining bagels in the boiling water to cook. While the bagels are cooking, you can add any toppings that you like. I am adding everything seasoning for bagels as a topping to my bagels. The other half, I'm just gonna leave without toppings. When your bagels are cooked, add half a cup of boiling water to the cooking sheet to create some steam in the oven while the bagels cook. Place the bagels in a preheated 400 degree oven for about 25 to 28 minutes. You can flip your bagels around to let them bake evenly. Take the bagels out of the oven and let them cool completely before slicing. I assure you, you're gonna love these bagels. I love to eat them with cream cheese. They are delicious. These bagels are gonna be a great addition to your recipes and I know you're gonna love to eat them as much as we do. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and we're gonna see you next week with a new recipe. Thank you for watching.